Well, the food truck fight in D.C. is escalating as regulations are being hammered out now. That's right. At stake are specific parking spots in high foot traffic areas of the district. Suzanne Kennedy now takes us to today's hearing. On a sunny spring Friday, the D.C. food trucks are wildly popular. It's cheap, it's good. Get variety. Steak and cheese and fries and a drink. But while orders are being filled, the district government is deciding the future of this burgeoning industry. Today, a hearing was held to hammer out regulations for D.C.'s 200 food trucks. We can't have um, Wild Wild West out there where people are fighting each other to get spots to sell their products. But we also can't have an overburdening regulatory structure. The district is considering establishing 20 mobile roadway vending locations that would include 180 spaces for trucks. A monthly lottery would be held for each of those locations. And that scares us because we think that uh, that means that some trucks will be out of business in those high demand areas for at least a month at a time. Who wants to leave their business up to a game of chance? Trucks would be limited to the 20 locations with a 500 foot buffer in which no other other trucks could locate. Consumers are concerned that more rules will mean less choice. It seems to work for them. They enjoy it. They make money off of it. You know, consumers love it, so why try to fix it? The D.C. Council will now consider these proposed regulations. A final decision is expected by June 22nd. In Northwest Washington, Suzanne Kennedy, ABC 7 News.